Hey guys, this is Vishal. Today I am going to talk about the user interface provided by Confluent that is Control Center. I'll provide quick walkthrough of Control Center GUI and give an overview about each and every pages or features present to view and analyze data. So let's get into it. Control Center help users manage and monitor Kafka with meaningful easy to use dashboard and helpful administrative tools. It provides real-time insight into well-being of the Kafka cluster. It allows developers and operators to get a quick overview of cluster's health, observe and control messages, topics, schema registry, and also to run KSQLDB queries. Control Center total include 9 pages where you can drill down to view data and configure features in your Kafka environment. So when you open the control center URL, this is the first page you get. So this first page is called the cluster overview page. Here you can view the number of healthy and unhealthy clusters running. At the end, I'm running my control center or confluent on my laptop that is a single machine. So that is showing under healthy clusters. So if I click on this cluster overview, you can drill down into the entire details or the matrix of the cluster it will show you number of brokers under your cluster topics connect and ksqldb instances now if i go to the second page here you can see the brokers here you can view the essential kafka matrix for brokers in cluster it let you monitor the throughput of production and consumption of the messages throughput means the number of messages produced per second or consumed per seconds also, you can see the number of topics created or the partitions created. Here, as you can see, there are 61 topics and 321 partitions. Please note that these all 61 topics are internal topics. At the moment, I have not created any custom topics, which we will create later. Then if you go down, the similar information about the throughput, the latency about the broker, you can see in our cluster we have only single broker so it is showing here in the tabular format in the production environment you may have a more than one broker so this tabular format gives you the entire details and the matrix of that brokers so the second page we have here is the topics here you can add a new topic update the existing topic or view production and consumption of any kafka topics on the right hand side here we have a button called add a topic so if i click on it it will allow me to create any new customized topic so i have to mention the name let's say test and here it will have a two option first is create with the default settings and second one is a create with the customized setting that means you can customize some of the necessary properties for your topic we will create the topic later in this video so as of now i will cancel it so this table will give you the list of topics present in your Kafka cluster, including the internal topics to the Confluent. So this topic that is default KSQL processing is the internal Confluent topics. So if I click on it, there are four tabs present over here. So first will give you the overview of the topics. That means the production and consumption specific to the topic. Then second, we have the message here. You can view the messages or download the messages from the Kafka topic okay so as of now you can see there are no new messages to this topic that's why it is not showing any messages third tab we have is a schema tab as you know that the Kafka data or the Kafka topics data are always in the form of key and value pair so here you can have the format of what type of value you want or what type of a key you want so here you can view the key and value schemas present then the last tab is the configuration tab so this gives you the entire setting of the topics that means the number of partitions you have for the topics number of replicas the cleanup policy the retention period you set for your topics so all the details you can view for the topics so the next page we have is a connect so this connect is a part of the kafka connect features it manages monitors and configures the kafka source and sync connectors so the next in line is we have is a ksqldb here you can execute queries against topic data browse download messages from query results it will also allow you to add or create streams or table 
against the topic data by running customized queries so next we have is uh, consumers here it will give you the list of consumer groups present under your cluster and for each consumer group it will show you the number of messages behind number of consumers we have and what are the topics it is consuming then we have replicators here it will monitor and configure replicated topics at the moment we don't have any topics replicated that's why it's showing no replicators found and the last we have cluster settings okay so this is all the general settings about your cluster that means the cluster name cluster id what server or which machine it is running on that is a host as of now it is running on my local machine that's why it's showing local host colon 1992 okay second tab we have about the brokers uh, about the broker details then the self balancing it comes in the picture when we have the distributed environment as of now we don't have the distributed environment that's why it is by default says on then the last we have the storage capabilities so this is all about the control center overview